G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here again today. Um, and what I wanted to share with you today is an easy way that you can look at automating uh, and processing of received invoices via email. Generally, they come through as an attachment. Um, so rather than having uh, you manually grab those attachments, download them, save them, and put them into a specific location, um, what we can do is, is use Power Automate uh, in conjunction with SharePoint and we can uh, automate that process for you or you can even automate that process yourself. Now this came about um, through a workshop that I've just been in today where there was a lot of manual processing from a lot of different suppliers uh, sending in invoices um, to be paid. And a lot of time has been taken up in uh, inside shared mailboxes and, and the like, grabbing attachments and processing those uh, inside of um, inside of SharePoint. So what I thought we'd do is uh, jump into an example of how we can automate that process using uh, Power Automate and grabbing the attachments and then also uh, adding those to a SharePoint document library. Um, so the screencast is going to follow. Stay with me. Um, I hope it brings you some value. And if it does, please leave your two cents um, and comments below. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time. G'day everyone, Daniel here. Uh, let's take a look at how we can automate the process of uh, receiving invoices via email and then uh, saving those invoices automatically to a SharePoint document library to process. So you can see here that I'm in uh, the Power Automate interface. I'm in the template section and I'm actually just going to use this template. We're just going to manipulate it a little bit. So I'm just going to kick this, uh, kick this template off. It's going to get our connections and you can see here that we're going to get, um, it's going to use the Outlook connector. Plus also we're going to just change this from OneDrive to be, uh, OneDrive to SharePoint. So we're just going to go off and create that flow. Um, and we're going to jump into the edit screen here. So you can see here, on a new email when it arrives in my inbox. And what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to specify a particular person that it gets received from. So if it gets received from this email address, then it's going to trigger. Let's just jump into the apply uh, each uh, section here. And you can see here that it's actually creating a file in OneDrive for business, but we actually don't want that. So what I'm going to do, because I want to do it in a SharePoint document library, I'm going to delete this condition down here. I'm actually going to delete this uh, create file. Actually, I'm going to, yeah, well, let's create, let's delete this. And let's see how we can add it to a SharePoint document library. So what we're going to do here is we're going to search for create. We're going to jump into SharePoint. We're going to create, use the create file. And we're going to pop in this site address because I want to pop it into there. And we're going to, I've got a document library that's specifically for invoices. So we're just going to pop that into invoices. Now, when I click into to the file name, what we're going to do is we're going to use the attachment name here as the file name. And the file content, you can see automatically, we're going to get the attachments content. It's going to loop through every attachment. And that's it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that. And now let's have a look and let's test that, uh, test that flow. So I'm just going to fire up. Uh, I'm going to send an email from my Gmail account. Um, I'm just doing that on another screen. I'm just going to grab an attachment. Um, now it's going to be a Word document. So let me just find a Word document here. Let's attach it to the email. Um, invoice two, and let's send that. So that's going to come in and we're going to receive, I'm going to receive an email in my inbox shortly. And once that, um, once that kicks off, 
what that's going to do is it's going to create a file in this document library here. And let's just jump into the flow. We can see here that there's no runs at the moment. Okay, so here we go. We've got the email that's been received into the inbox. Uh, it's got an attach a Word document as the attachment here. So let's now jump into the document library and let's have a look and see what's happened here. So you can see here, there we go. We've stripped out the document. We've got the document directly in the uh, in the the library there and it's all automated for us. And now we can set, we could actually have this as a default to be processed. Um, and now we've got uh, an automated um, process now, whenever an email is received from that particular email address, it's gonna strip the attachment out and it's actually going to, to put that document into the document library. Now we could, um, if we're receiving uh, invoices from multiple different people and uh, suppliers and that type of thing, then we can choose also to, uh, to add multiple um, from addresses in here, or we could actually even use a, a shared mailbox. So if the, the recipient um, or uh, we're using a, a shared mailbox to receive those invoices, then we could just set it to the, to any uh, email that comes into that uh, inbox. So we could strip that out and then create that file into the SharePoint document library automatically for us. So I hope that brings you some value um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.